Good afternoon, Wolfpack. I'm William Ma. And I'm Dion Gandy. Today is Wednesday, February 22nd, and we're here with your daily announcements. The 2022-2023 yearbook is on sale for $90. You can get one by scanning the QR code on screen. Junior Prom is coming around the corner. Tickets and guest passes are $60 and can be bought at the student store. The due date for guest passes is March 3rd, and the last day to buy tickets is March 8th. Now let's pass it on over to Ethan and Nisha for entertainment. Hello Wolfpack and welcome to your weekly dose of entertainment. I'm Nisha Samra. And I'm Jim Harper and today let's dive into some news. He's Ethan Nguyen. But Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Part 9 came out recently. It stars a Hawaiian team named Jodeo Joestar and his sibling Dracona Joestar who are thieves. It's been circulating the internet since the re its release and the hype has brought speculations of Part 7 of Jojo's possibly being, possibly being animated though it hasn't been confirmed. Now I kind of want to watch JoJo so I can catch up. <laughs> in other news, I Am Legend is coming out with a sequel based on an alternate ending of the original. Spoilers for those who haven't watched it, which I don't know why, Will Smith's character originally dies in the theater release film, but in a different version, he lives. Most people believe that the popularity of The Last of Us has inspired the idea of making a sequel. I'm just going to say it right now, I don't think it's going to be a good sequel. The San Rio show Gretzko aired its fifth and final season last week on Netflix. I'm a huge fan of the series and I'm sad to see it go, but maybe we'll see more of her and the characters in merchandise. If that's the case, I will be making more purchases. You shouldn't buy a bunch of merchandise for a show that you like. Well, who's going to stop me? I don't know, maybe your bank account? We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Okay, anyways, <laughs> we here at Dunder Mifflin would like to say goodbye. I'm Jim Harper. And I'm Nisha Samra. See you later, Wolfpack. Thanks, y'all. Sacramento State will be holding their fifth annual Asian Pacific Islander Dusty American College Day event on Friday, March 3rd. Sign-ups are first come, first serve, and spots are guaranteed for the first 10 that sign up. For more information, please scan the QR code and fill out the Google form shown on screen. Tomorrow, Hype Dance Company will have the World of Fantasy Showcase. Premium seats are $12, and for general admission, they will be $10. You can, you can purchase your tickets online at HypeDanceLudus.com or at the student store. Please bring your student store receipt to Mrs. Hendricks in the dance room or show, show your receipt at the door. Pre-sale ends February 24th, and for more information, contact Ms. Hendricks. Now let's check out this week's sports. <laughs> What's up, Wolfpack? I'm Darren Francis. And I'm Jonah Mercado, and welcome back to Sports. Sports. For our men's soccer team, they lost against Vacaville last Thursday 1-2, kicking them out of the playoffs. This was mainly due to some bad ref calls and a lot of mistakes. You guys had a really solid season, and you were great this year. I hope you guys get, continue to have opportunities in the future. For our women's, women's soccer team, they also lost against Vista Del Lago last Thursday 43-49, kicking them out of their playoffs as well. You guys have had an amazing season so far, and I hope you'll carry on to the next year. Yeah, well, Jonah, we're a little light today on our news. Winter sports have wrapped up. Baseball, softball, and track won't be till spring, and most world sports are in their off seasons. So here's a sports joke. Why did the football coach go to the bank? Why? He wanted his quarterback. Well, that's all we have for you this week, Wolfpack. I'm Jonah. And I'm Darren. Back, Back to, to your anchors. anchors. Thanks, guys. If you want to prepare your resume for internships or jobs tomorrow, there will be an online resume workshop tomorrow at 4.30. To sign up, please go to your student view, email, or scan the QR code, code that's shown right now. Spirit Week is this week. Today was Excellence Day, where you wear, wore an outfit for your future career or semi-formal attire. Tomorrow is Throwback Thursday, where you wear an outfit from the 90s and early 2000s. It's, just, it's time to select a student board member for EGUSD. Student board applications are due to Mr. Hadagi on the 24th. There are requirements for the, for the position, so make sure to check out the newsletter for more information. The Elk Grove Unified School District has announced that they will, they will not cover AP exam costs for this year. 
to, to apply for a fee waiver or to cancel your AP exams, please open the email in the student view. The deadline for cancellation or a fee waiver is for March 3rd. If you do not cancel before March 3rd, you will have to pay a $40 fee. That's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Darren Gandy. And I'm William Moa. And remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy National, National California, California Day, Wolfpack. Day, Wolfpack.